Hey, I'm George from BluefishToys.com. We review electronic toys. Today we're going to be looking at the Robofish. It's a little clownfish and it swims in the water. So generally it comes with its own batteries. And when you put the batteries in and once it gets in contact with water, it automatically comes to life and starts to swim around under its own power. There's eight different fish in the series and you can get the one you like. This fish was made famous obviously by the Finding Nemo movie. And we're going to open it up and put in the batteries, throw it in the water and see how it does. Okay, here he is out of his package. And now the funny part is, as soon as I got a hold of him, he started to try to swim in my hand. So there's already a set of batteries inside him ready to go. The package has a spare set of batteries, so you're not right off the bat Christmas morning, um, running out of batteries right off the bat. It has a little tiny thing of instructions, didn't even bother opening that. And as soon as I pulled him out, he started to try to swim. His little tail started to flip, because there's a little tail, it's got a little motor in there. But what it is, is he's got two little sensors, one on that side, and one on that side, and those look for current going through the water from the battery. Not current that would be dangerous, just enough to get a signal. And so all I had to do is lick my fingers, and touch those two things, and there's his head. tail comes to life. So that's the same thing that would happen when he goes into water. Water would allow that thing to get a signal from one side of the transponder to the other, and then the little guy starts to swim. So next, we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put him in the water and see how he does. So as soon as they go in the water, their little sensors immediately sense that they're in water and it comes to life. When it's out of the water and it's dry, it just sits there and the batteries aren't being wasted or anything like that. There's no on or off switch. He dies down. Yep, so what he does, he has two different speeds. So he's got a sort of a, a slow speed where he just goes to the top and he goes around the, in a circle at the top and then he speeds up on, automatically and that forces him to dive, basically. So he isn't just swimming around the top in an endless circle, he actually does some interesting things. So he keeps on going as long as he's wet? Yeah. That'd be cute when you kids take a bath. Now, do we have another fish? Shark attack! So now we have two. We have the Finding Nemo, I think it's a clownfish, right? Yeah. And we have the little red shark. Too. Yep. Dive yeah, I think the other, we had him in a bigger, a taller fishbowl last time, and he didn't really dive that low, so he kind of just swam around the top. So if you just touch Yeah, so the trick is there's two sensors on either side of his head, you'll see the little black marks there and there. So as long as anything is touched across that that's, that's wet, then it, can, it gets a signal from one to the other and, allow, and that tells the little motor to turn on. So theoretically, I would think that for a young child we'd get a couple of these or a handful of them and throw them into their bathtub so you got those kids that uh, hate taking baths, all of a sudden bath time just became kind of more fun. They had the little fish swimming around with them and because uh, of just very small batteries there's certainly no danger of electric shock or anything like that because they are such low voltages and uh, they're meant to go in the water. Well, I gotta say, in certainly in a sink like this, they actually do kind of look about as realistic as a mechanic, little mechanical little uh, yeah. $10 fish could ever look. So it depends on the size of what you put them in, but yeah. yeah. You know, I think the more fish, the merrier. So, in the end, these are actually a lot of fun. I have to say, though, one is kind of fun, two are more fun, three or four of them would be a blast. Watching them interact with each other and swim around and bounce into each other and literally look like they're chasing each other around the tank or the sink or even the bathtub, wherever you have them, it is definitely having 
more than one is, uh, is you know, that much more fun. We love the fact that they added the circuitry that when it's in the tub and left in the, or whatever, any kind of water, uh, for more than four minutes in a row, it automatically shuts off and goes to sleep so it doesn't wear out the batteries if your child forgets it in the sink or, or to take it out and dry it off. And again, to wake it back up, you take it out, dry it off, put it back in the water, and it comes right back to life again. The, uh, we do want to mention one more time that this is not for children under the age of three because the tails come off very easily. And you don't, that's, a, that's a flexible little piece you don't want your child ingesting by accident. There are different colors. Um, we had mentioned earlier, there's also the ones of the pirate pack set that come out. And you can get all kinds of underwater little toys for them and a fish net and everything from um, RoboFish that go along with this. But they are a cool little design and they do work. They may not keep you entertained for hours and hours, but they certainly keep you entertained for short bursts of time over and over again. I think it's a great tub toy and something to have fun with. If you want to read more about our review and see all the different things that we did with them, go ahead and take a look at the review we put online at bluefishtoys.com. I'm George, I'm with bluefishtoys.com, and we review electronic toys. Yeah. Friggin' bubbles. <laughs> not ready. Impressive. <laughs> And if you want to do something completely different, oh no, did we really do this? Think about it, did we really do this? Imagine their surprise when, oh no, what's that floating in the toilet? So George? Yes? Were you up late last night playing yeah. with all your electronic toys? No, no. I think you were. Well, no, I wasn't. You can't prove it. I can prove it because this will tell the truth. If you hold this between your fingers and you're telling a lie, its tail's going to wag. No way. It will. Let's try it. Okay. Do you like electronic toys? Yes, I do. Okay. That was the truth. Were you playing with electronic toys last night? No. Oh no, my hands got sweaty.